hello and welcome um a few minor glitches but we are ready so let's get into it let me go into heroes and today i'm playing simon k jones who i've known for a long time um he was around when i first started playing about 25 years ago almost maybe 20 um and he's a really strong player so let's see how it goes simon has been waiting for me patiently while I sorted out my streaming issues. And thank you also to Reiner for helping out with some sound issues, which hopefully the sound should improve now. And let's see if we can play like a two or under a two or a one. Just make some good decisions. Yeah. No, I analysed the game, if any of you were watching yesterday. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, 4-3. Let me just shut the window, because it's getting cold. 4-3, he, um... Is he a 2-down man, or a 21-9? and nine? So, he's a high good match. Good match. He's a... 21 and 9 man, okay. 6 3, of course, I'm gonna hit. A6, I think he should just come in and out. Doesn't really want to get hit on his own bar. 6 2 is fantastic. I obviously, I don't hit the man on the 16. Double 2, he's just gonna hit me straight back, okay. But I think it's still pretty much. What's he doing? No, you can't do this. No, no, can you? Okay, I don't think so. Okay, so 6-1. I can double hit. I almost missed it. Of course, I need to double hit to take advantage of all those blots out there. Not going to think too much about it. I think it's probably right. Double 6. And now I can just cube quite quickly. If it isn't a cube, it's going to be a tiny no double. It's definitely not too good. And um, perfect time. Okay, so he passes. Thank you, Martin. That's very kind of you. Graham, way back in 2000, Mr. Beat me on the final. Okay. Final of the Newcastle Open. So 3 4 again. 6 5. Where are you off to, Reese? Oh, are, are you going to the. Um, Martin, you're going to the UK Open. I am going. Uh, six four. He runs. Is that right? Six four. Lovely jubbly. Five one. He should. Yep. Of course. Of course. I haven't got anything yet. I just play safe. I think twenty pips up. Don't want to hit because if I hit, I give him like five four five one five three to hit and cover. And we don't want that. So he shouldn't make the 20. I don't know what, why he's doing this. It looks like he's not going to take it back. Okay, maybe he will. Which is a bit of a downer. Um, oh, no. I really didn't want him to take it back, of course. Okay. Would have made my life so much easier. So 3-2 just down to the 8. 3-1, juicy, and I don't think we have anything yet. We're 15 pips up, but his board's pretty strong. Let me review what's going on. So we have a few numbers that don't leave shots. What I'm looking for is maybe 22, 24 numbers not leaving shots. So what leaves a shot? Six five, six three, six two plays, five four plays, leaves in directs. Three two plays. And of course if I roll double four, double two, double six, double five. Okay. I changed my mind. I think it's probably a small cube. 
Easy take. Okay. 5 1 is fair. Yeah, and if he makes the anchor. Mm, okay, now he does make that quickly. So four, 6 to 2 is forced, and I don't think there's any reason to give him 7s, even though it gives me an extra uh, 4 numbers to make the bar. 4 3, okay. 5 1, just down, and 2 to 1. Preserving some threes, I don't know. Okay, so Greece wouldn't have doubled. I think it probably was a small double. Well, actually, I'm not sure. What am I saying? But should he have anchored up with 3 2? 2 1, okay, so. I can just make the ace now. Is he ever going to come off? Probably not. So maybe I just slot the point I want to make most. Maybe that's the idea. Okay, get this away. I need to sort out. Yeah, the question with those is, is he ever going to come out? And I, I suppose the answer is that if I've got men to play, there's no gain for him to come out. Of course he's not going to come out generally because of the race, but that doesn't always apply. So 5-4, he... 4-2, no shots, can't bring two down. Is he take, he's going to take it back? Oh no, he doesn't take it back. Okay, so now... I don't think there's much point in playing 13-8 because his board's only likely to improve a small amount and he's got a 5 point board and I might not necessarily leave shots so 13-8 leaves all 5 shots and I'd have a blocking board so I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna go for that yeah now I don't know So if I clear it, he could conceivably come out with a, with such a strong board. And even if he doesn't, okay. Now maybe I have to do this. Oops. So, of course, he's going to play on maybe 10, 20, I don't know, 15% gammons, 12, 2 ones going to play, be 8 to 5. Six, four, five to 3 is the safest configuration. Now he can play on without leaving shots. Of course, if I fan here, he should play on even though he leaves shots, obviously. And I don't know if he should take one off. I think maybe, maybe he should. Yeah, he probably should. Yeah, he should. Go on, off it goes. So in with the two, no wasting. Is good should save it should definitely save it now so twos are gonna come in double six is gonna take a man off six five whatever so two one down New game. okay six four I gonna go for the out and down 3-1 he can hit or he can make the 5, it's his choice. No one hits but I think hitting is fine. 5-2 we make the 4 and don't think. 6-1 he makes the bar and doesn't think. Oh he's thinking why, no need to think. 
Okay, a little thing. Four, five. Um, it depends. How many things has he got bearing down on me? Well, it dupes the four. He's got four on the mid. And I want to make the 21, although it's going to dupe the three. The three that I need to make the five point and other stuff like that. Mm, I'm not sure what to do here. It's probably close. Okay, I'm going to go 13 to 8. I don't know. Double three is going to make both points. And if I fan, it's going to be tough. If I fan... If I fan... If I fan... Um, I think I have to pass. Yeah, I mean, I've got to pass this, haven't I? Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't I? I think. Okay, so 3 1 down. Aces is lovely. Ace 5, not quite a cube yet. What do I want? 4-2, something like that. 6-1 will play. I think I'm going to split, even though he's got stacks. Could be... Could be wrong. So now 7s and 8s are going to hit. 4-2 is going to make the 4 point. Don't think I'm going to have a cube, really. He's going to come in and hit. I don't think he should make the anchor. I think he should hit... I think he should hit. Yep. Come on. Come on, Simon. Obviously hitting. He's got a f he's got of the five point. He's got a great board. Three five, I just make it. He's got three men three men stuck back, so there's a premium on having the eight point and blocking him. So he should just make the bar. I mean make the four point. And then, well, actually, it's not clear. So what can he do? He can, I think if he does this, he's probably going to have to switch, which is ugly. I don't like it, but it might be the best. He's going to have a little think about it. He's going to have a little think. What should he do? So if he makes the four, okay, so... He can just make the 9, that's one thing. That's one thing. The 20, he doesn't desperately need the 22. Okay, he goes for this. I still don't think, see, I somehow see this as ruining his position. And the question is, do I have anything now? Um, I got 5-3 and 5-4. I don't think so. I don't know. I think it's close, but I don't know. So am I going to hit? I guess so. Although fall down is nice. I don't know this. Okay, don't want to think too hard. Okay, now I can probably cue because he can come in badly. I could roll a 5-2, and even if I hit with a 5-2 or 3-4, leaving a blotting board, I think it's good for me. 3-1 down. So, I'm going to go for it. You double. Maybe a little bit naughty. Very easy take, of course. Your okay, so 5-3 is going to come out and make the 3-point. Really try and go for it. So, if he hits me back, I have some returns. Maybe this was a trifle early. So he's going to have blots strewn about the board. Okay, he's going to go for this. But he can't recube. Okay, so easy game, right? Threes are duplicated, though. Okay, he just plays it super quickly. I guess he has to hit because he's not that far ahead. He's going to probably hit again. He can never cube this. 
And what about now? I still don't think he can queue four men back. Even if I'd fanned. Yeah, he's playing super quickly. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, the three six. Oh dear. And now cube action. He's not thinking. Now of course it's an easy well it's an easier decision. What's he thinking about? Of course. Okay, now it's probably still an easy decision. So if he didn't cube then, I guess he's not going to cube now. And this... Mm, what if he cubes now? I guess it was a big pass. No idea. Why is he playing like a... What, what is he doing? Just stop. So now it's just, even at this score, got elements of too good. So I'm not sure what his cube action was. Okay, I don't think he should have made the, the bar point either. 6-2 comes out and comes down, I think. Four three just get men closer. Yeah, okay. Four one probably well why give a two one? Why give a two one? Why give a two one? Okay. Sort of force the six five, he has to do this, he's gonna have to leave shots with double six, double five, but it's not a big deal. Four two, take two me yep, yeah. play save. Face save. So very difficult to say. Five two. Can I save this? For one, no, I can still can still save it. It's possible. I think. I think. Got to try and remember to save the backgammon. Okay, seven one down. Double six, make the deuce, probably. Um three one. Try not to make the same mistake as I did yesterday, which was cube a little bit too early. So I'm eighteen pips up, I think I'm gonna split. Although I would like to slot make the five. Six five he should probably Okay, he's just playing too fast. I I I 5-1 I mean I have to do this I have to try and get out I don't want to make the 23 prime myself I want to give myself 6s to get out so I don't think I've had much to think about here 5-4 is going to make the 3 on my head I'm going to fan obviously 1-3 I just think come in and split can't cube Maybe, I mean, there's some double-edgedness to it, but I don't think he can cube. I don't want to come down. Okay, so I split. 
five three he should think about um hitting twice probably should actually what's this what is this oh i can't oh, this just gives me the the house gives me threes to to make the 21 um yeah i would just hit both i would hit both no 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 okay this duplicates the four but still um so again i don't want to cube too early i don't want to miss stuff but i still don't think i've got anything he has duped the four like double six is going to be good double five what is going on but like something like two one and two pips down Double four, it's basically double four, double five, double six. Double three does it's not quite that strong and strong enough. And then anything else is not that strong. Okay. Six five. Yeah, I looked at this. I think I have to just make the ace on his bonds like this. Hope he fans. Four two. Can I cube this, duping the fours and twos, if he hits? So I've got fours, threes and twos to hit. It's like got four blots strewn around the board, so I think I probably have to cube. I don't know, because I've got such a shitty board. Oh, this is difficult. So what have I got? got double two, four two, four three. Double two, four two, four three, four four. And then if I just hit, it's not that strong. Double one. Hmm. Yeah, if I don't if I don't hit him twice, so what is it? It's just four if I don't hit him twice, I just roll like a two six. Of course I lose my market when he fans, but he only fa he doesn't fan very much of the time. So I don't think I'm gonna cube this. But I could be wrong. Of course I could be wrong. I just roll and now I have to hit, of course, to stop him doing stuff. So I can't see why, if the computer's going to tell me that that's a cube, I cannot see why. And again, okay, so he hits twice, and now there's no cube decision. Yeah. He should hit, yeah, on the... And now, I mean, he, he could even cube here. I know he's 7-1 up, but... Wow, okay, uh, blimey. Makes the full point in my face. Why is he taking it back? Just a little bugbear of mine. Okay. Fair play, he wants to look at making the eight. So, um, he's not going to cube, so I probably don't need to think about it, but I am thinking about it. This must be too good. I just don't know, what is he thinking about? Ace three. I guess I have a little bit of vig if he if he fans after I hit. Let's try and stop him making the this thing. I think he should play on though. So he can just come in and make the burr, which I think he should. He's not going to see it. Oh, he's going to take it back. Okay, no, he's not. Ace five is going to have to hit. Again, we can hope he fans. 
I kind of play this as if it's DMP, but again, it's probably too good. Even if he fans, it's. I mean, I've got six men back. Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> Why is he thinking? So, yeah, let's get back to what's going. Let me focus. So, if he fans. I still need like fives and sixes to come out. My fives are my fives are duplicated. I mean, what what is this? Surely this can't be takeable. So six four. Um, okay, I'm gonna make the deuce point. Anyone? Would you take that? Would you cube five two? Splits okay. Maybe maybe splitting is okay. Double four is a monster. So I think this is best. And if he doesn't roll the three, okay, double two, he should make the 20, of course. Now I've got nothing, but of course I can't miss cubes. Double three is going to just make the 10, and should we slot for... I don't really want him to roll a double two. So unless you know your opponent's going to hit, incorrectly hit, I don't think there's any reason to, to play 10 to 7. 2-1... 12, 8 to 6, maybe. Okay, this. I will hit, though, if I can. Yep. Of course. I don't think I've had a double in the last two matches I've played. So 4 2. Now I think I have to cube because of 6 1 5 1. This is probably easy cube. Probably easy take as well. Pick some passes. Okay. 1 2 3. I'm just a bit annoyed now, so I just come out. I think if he hits with like five four, I've got a gazillion returns. Okay, so he hits with five two. Of course, the five six. So he comes in and hits again. No, he fans. All right, double three. I think I'm just going to make the bar. And do I minimize? I guess I come in, I'm not sure. A6, he can't afford to come out. So at least I've given myself a 6 to get safe. Double aces is going to switch. And switch again, because I want to leave the 8 point for my landing spot. 2-1, ain't good. 5-1, so I have some gammons here, of course. And every time he fans... They're going up. I can clear the seven here. But I think they're going to be builders. If he comes in on the three, I've got more builders to, to do stuff with. So he shouldn't, though, if he has the choice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, of course, come in on the five. Aces, yeah, bring him in, pay now, kind of thing, I think. Five four is okay, this doesn't leave a shot. Okay, he's going to get in gamma save mode. Ace 4 actually makes the 2 point. Okay, no 3, but he would... No, okay, no 3, and no 5, 1 or 6, 1. 15 shots, plus whatever else. With double 6 hitting? No, I don't think so. So 5 is force, 2 is coming closer. Aces is a gem. So he should split probably 12 to 11. Yep. Hello, Nigel. Nice to see you. It ain't going well. It ain't going well.
Um, three two, so I can pick up. But I think I feel that your arrival has presaged something more positive. Three one, okay. Just about handle the one. Can he fan? So you just make the nine. Here we go. Let's be positive. Double three, okay, so I'm not going to leave any more shots. Still got no men off. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm not mm, overly, I think Simon hasn't taken enough time, let's just put it that way. Especially in the game with 7-1 game. Um, double five, we'll hit loose, and then... 10-1, so if I pass, I go uh, 10 away, 1 away, which is going to be about 6-7%. And if I re to 8, I go 9-8 and have 60. So I'm going to be risking 6 to gain like 54, 6 over 60. So my take one is going to be about 10%. And now, yeah, obviously I don't have 10%, I've got like 3%, so he should just recube, I think. What have I got here? Maybe a little more than 3%, anyone know? I mean, with a crushed board, it's not great, because then I, when I come in, I don't necessarily take a checker off immediately. Um, okay. The 6-2 hit. So you guys played each other. Where do you play, Nigel? And where are you from? Um, okay, May he should even cube this, because if he rolls boxes and I roll boxes, then I'm going to have more than 3%. So he kind of loses his pass market, and again he should cube. Again he should cube. No, I think he should cube, and he shouldn't clear. Because then if I roll boxes, why is he clearing? Okay, now it's probably a smidgen too good. But now he leaves shots. Okay, now this is like, why is he playing on? Is he trying to weaver me into a, hello, can we move? So I've probably got more than 3% here. Like if he cubed, I'd be thinking about it. Okay, maybe not after that. One. No, 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 no. One. Two, three, four. So I got twelve checkers. What is he doing? It makes no sense to me. Oh uh, dear! What? What? I mean, this is not trivial. So what? If let's say he takes two men off. If I roll a double, I've got six checkers, and then I've got. Um, like about 27 28 percent, maybe more. Whoa, any double basically. I'm gonna have six checkers left, right? No, I'm gonna have seven. Okay, luckily I saw that. Jesus, okay. If I had one checker fewer, oh, Simon, why, why? Oh, and um, so I need ten percent. What do I? Why was I thinking three percent? So I need ten percent. So if I would, I need two doubles. Let's say I just need two doubles. 
but he can miss as well. He can roll two ones. He can be off in five. If I roll two doubles, I will have three checkers left. And he'll have... Okay, yeah. No spoilers, Nigel. No help. So I guess I need 10%. I mean, I just don't want to take it against him. And do I get a recube in anyway? So let's say... Let's say he rolls 4-3 and he has 6. Okay, alright. I guess it's a pass, but... I don't, I don't even know. I, haven't, I can't really think properly. You drop. I don't know. New Fucking hell. Annoying. Just annoying. What? What? 6-5. Okay, so I need to win a gammon. <sighs> Just annoying. Don't even know whether I should hit there. 3-2 he makes. Yeah, come on. Very nice. Couldn't work it out. Could not work it out. 4-1, okay, just save. Five is five, okay, play behind, I don't know. Three, two, he can probably make the four. I mean, was that a pass? Three, six, obviously I have to hit. With two blocks on board. Double three is making the three, probably. So we have two on the four, two on the three, two on the two, two on the one, and one on the two, ten on the ace. What's he doing? I mean, it could be a huge mistake. I'm trying to think. No, don't check, because it'll piss me off if I got the wrong answer. I mean, you can check, but don't tell me. A6 is going to make the deuce. I mean, it seemed like it was an obvious pass, so I just went with the instinct, but I really wanted to calculate it, and I just couldn't think for some reason 4-3 is a, is a big joker. Double 5, not, as, not quite as good as it seems. So yeah, he should just make the ace point, or he can slot the 3 and slot the ace, but I think he should probably just make the ace. Um... Like if I had ten checkers, then I think it would have been an easy take. But having eleven means I need five three. Yeah, good boy, Nigel. Don't tell me three one. Just in and out. Six four. Okay, so. I can come out with the six. I don't know if it's necessary yet. Because I'm behind. Just give myself a three to make the four point. And although fours and ones are duplicated, I think I have enough time to roll a five or a six. Okay. Four, five. I just come out. You know, what else can I do? 3-2, he's going to hit. Come closer. Yep. 2-6. Martin thinks it was an obvious pass. 2-6, I stay there to put pressure on the block on the 16. Double 6 is probably lights out. Yep. It was just two down. Yep. Five, 
five four. Yep. I wonder why that is, Reiner. Five four. Okay. Never coming in. Double two. Okay. <laughs> Boo. What is this? Two one is like a, a very good roll. The good news is I have XG fired up. So four six coming down to the ten. Okay, just for give me a double three, just for some sort of hope. I have XG fired up. Close it. Okay. Four two, we slot the point. Four two two down. Just trying to make the four. No, that's not right. What is he doing that for? Okay, one, two, three, four. Keeping the checkers on the nine and the eight to try and make the seven to slot it at some point. This is boo. This is terrible. Yeah, six one. Yeah, prepare to clear the six. Okay, eins, und schlotten, schlotten, und dann vier eins, löst die sechste ab, und dann können wir bleiben und die Ace Point machen, das sieht sehr trübselig aus, 4-2, I think we have to go. 4-1, okay, this is a little something, okay, maybe you should just take it off, yeah, 1, 2, 3, and then 6 to 3, hoping to get the shot now, 3-1, just take it off, okay, 4 from this, there, I think, I don't know, obviously staying, so he's got uh, eight checkers off. Five one, I don't know. Well, why not just play two to one? There's not very much chance of... That is a four. I thought it was double five. Okay, so do I keep... I think I keep the man there, probably. I'm not sure how, what it gains, though. I'm not sure what it gains. Other than just being able to make it with... I'm just going back. He's only got a two-point board. Maybe I want to get sent back. I guess if I just... Yeah, okay. I don't know. Now I have double five and... One, two, three, four takes two off. Okay, after double four, it's. Yeah. It's not enough. It ain't enough. Well done, well done, Simon. Okay, let's see how we play. Okay, let's save the match. Let's have a look on um, XG. So I didn't really have many decisions there, but let's see where I screwed up. Um, give me one second. While I get XG going. Okay, so... Yeah, where are you? XG, save match, and then open, and hopefully it's going to open. Yeah, it is. And it's loading. Fantastic. Yeah, I didn't have any decisions there, so Simon didn't play great. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what his average is, but I think he did some funny things. Um...
tube zealish. I don't even know what it means. Melancholy? It's probably not the right word. Oh, now XG has just crashed completely. Okay. I don't know why it does this, but let me give me a chance and I will... I will get it back. Okay, get it back. 1.4 pass. Yeah, I mean... I just wanted to... With the cube, I just wanted to try and work it out. I didn't want to just go by instinct. Um, so that was what was going on there. Um, now, for some reason, it's crashing. Okay, I think uh, it's really not liking anything. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Window capture. Yep. I might have to just change the analysis speed. Maybe that's what's screwing it up. So... Options. Let's get the board going around the right way. Let's um, cancel this analysis. if it will let me, and then let's put it on um, fast, so it's, uh, oh, 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 what's going on now, it's opened it twice, so cancel all, yep, and now go to, I'm going to go to analyze, I'm going to go to analyze session, and then I'm going to go to fast, and then we can Look how quick that is. Okay, so what happened was Simon opened with a 4-1, 6-3, was good. He came out. I hit. I thought he should have hit on the 18. That was fast. Wow. I thought he should have hit on the 18 here. But 4-ply thinks not wrong. Thinks he shouldn't have done. 6-1, of course. And then, yeah, good pass by Simon. Really good pass. And then another 4-3, then I came out with 6-5, so nothing, no decisions here, 6-4, 5-1 of course, 6-2 I'm going to play safe, 4-2 he almost made the 20 point, and he sh definitely shouldn't have done, and then for Reese, Reese put me off telling me it wasn't a double, um, but it was a small double on 2-ply, so I think it's going to remain a small double, and then can't remember what happened. Yeah, he made the anchor here, but yeah, I suppose he didn't have a choice. And then 5-1, I just had to come in safely. I can't remember what happened, how I left the shot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I should have left it now while I had the chance. And then I shouldn't have left it. That was my big mistake. Dear, oh dear. So I didn't play very well. I got punished. So let's go back to here. What's going on? Um, I suppose it's easy to say with hindsight, but I'm not going to roll that many. If I make the ace point, I'm not going to roll that many numbers that allow me to clear safely. It's basically only doubles because I've got no spares. So I suppose it's better to leave it, but not by much now. Um, because he's not improving his board very much. And then when he makes the board, then there's no reason to volunteer a shot at all. Yeah, I don't fully understand this actually, but I would have thought that if you play 13 to 8, then you have a reasonable chance of getting your checker from the 13 safe if he doesn't hit you, but the pro the likelihood is is that, you, well, there's a probability chance that you won't get it safe. So maybe that's why it's such a big blunder. And then we just had that. So I kind of got punished for stupid play there. 
six four out five two makes the four four five was a small mistake should have come out and then it was an easy pass so that was an easy decision um double one yeah i shouldn't have split played it pretty quickly probably six two hit four three hit yeah the double two he should have just made the 22 and the four there was something a bit fishy about switching destroyed his structure and then i didn't know about the two four but it was big to hit i mean standard to hit like of course i know that yeah you hit because he's got a block there and if you don't hit then you give him good sixes and twos rather than just good threes and then i doubled and it was a big double i had to come out he hit on the two point without thinking i fanned and then let's look at his cube action. So obviously he's got nothing now. He hits, which I think was right. I hit back, he has nothing. Double three, um, he makes the board. I come in, he still has nothing, right? He's got four men back. Now after the double six, he's still got nothing. And now after the six three and the fan, he's probably still got nothing. Let's see how bad it would have been. Yeah, I mean, insane, okay. so. He just played it too quickly. I don't know. Maybe he just saw it super fast. In which case, fine. And then I come in with the 1-4. He fans. Oh, this is when he fans again. I fan again. And now... What's the cube action here? I guess it's not good enough. I think I would have taken. So the pass isn't astronomical because you're in Stuch, whatever you do, but maybe he should just cube practically to get me to pass. I think there was a chance I was passing, but I don't think I would have passed. So after that, and then this is too good, right? I've got two on the bar. There's no reason to cube. Yeah, he left the 2-1 for no good reason. With the 3-2. Oh yeah, okay. So he should just get maximum coverage. And then that was it. Okay. Okay. 6-1, double 6, 5-1, easy. I had to split because I'm ahead. Five. I have to keep on splitting. So my 3-1 is wrong. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, I know I diversify his numbers, but then 6-5 making the bar on his head. Ah, Troop Selig is something dismal. Okay. Are you German, My Michael? Double... Okay, so I didn't miss a cube. So good decision. Good One good decision. Like, here. This was nothing. So this is a, a bigger cube than the one before, but I'm not favourite. I'm nowhere near favourite. Good. I just don't want to miss cube, so I have a tendency to cube too early. Probably. He comes in with a 4-1. And then, yeah, I think it was too good when he cubed. The 4-3, actually. Shouldn't make the 4-point. I... Okay, fine. And he should cube this. Really? It looks too good to me. Okay. And this was way too good. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how this can be. So even if he fans, like I was saying, he's got, I've got so much work to do to turn it around. I'll come back to it. Six, four, double four, of course, double two. So it gave me nothing. And then I hit. Double was clear, double six I played, 28, oh I don't have to hit, what about gammons though? What about gammons? Six five is going to hit, double three, okay, 
suppose easy plays, 14-8, 6-5, easy play. Yeah, he shouldn't have come in on the 22, but he didn't, so that was good. And then I got hit. Double three, one four. Oh yeah, this the cube action. So like here, he should double, and it's actually a small take according to two ply. Then when he closes the board, fine to play on here, but it's still these are all tiny double passes, I think. Let's go. Well, they're all nothings. Okay, so equal, doesn't matter what he does. But when now, shouldn't this be a cube? Small redouble. That's too good. And then he gets to here. And because of the double six, I think, and then double six by me, he should cube. And then he definitely shouldn't break the board. He should take two off here. And then he missed a cube here, which I should have taken, but passing wouldn't have been terrible, so I was good either way. Then, yeah, this was where I wasn't comfortable. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then... So what happened? He rolled a pretty good number, but I rolled a pretty good one. So let's say he cubes here. I'm like completely lost. So my take point is way less than 10%. But here I've only got 1%. Okay, so what was I thinking? Luckily I didn't take. So my take point is like 7%. I don't know what it is. So 6, 5, 4, 1. I can't afford to hit. All a bit um, disappointing really. 5, 4. 6, 3. Come in and do that. 5-3, it looked okay. 6-4, yep, good. Coming down. Got to come out. He rolled pretty well. Yeah, a bit of a nothing match. Five one. I don't know why he did that. Not play two to one. And then I went favourite after this double six. And that was it. So yeah, it was a little bit underwhelming. Um, I didn't play that well, but I played, you know. Not, not much to think about, really. Yeah. Alright, well... I am starving, so i got to go and eat something. But thank you guys for watching. I mean, I hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching along with me. Hit that like button, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you soon. Bye.